Okay, good day, everyone. I want to thank everyone for being here. My name is Chris Aylworth, the National President for the Public Service Alliance of Canada, and I'm joined with uh, Sharon D'Souza, our National Executive Vice President, and Alex Silas, our Regional Executive Vice President for the National Capital Region. Last night, at approximately 7 o'clock, a little after 7, the employer sent an email to our bargaining teams, many of them standing behind me, saying that they are not moving from their position. My friends, they still have 9% on the table over three years. And they're telling us, they're telling us that we have to move. That's not how bargaining works, Madame Forche. Once we make our pass, then the employer is supposed to come back and make a pass. They did not do that last night. I'm calling on the Prime Minister again today to get involved in these negotiations and to settle this dispute. The Prime Minister knows exactly what it takes to settle this dispute. The Prime Minister has one of two choices to make. He can either get involved personally and help settle this dispute, or he can turn his back on the workers who are striking, predominantly women making forty to $65,000 a year. If the Prime Minister can turn his back on these striking members, he will turn his back on every single worker in this country. Bonjour tout le monde. Merci d'être ici. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here. Yesterday, the employer sent an email to our bargaining teams at 7 p.m. to say that they have finished for the day and were not moving from their position. The employer's position is still 9% over three years. And they expect us to move on our position. That's not how bargaining works, Madame Fortier. It involves discussions by both sides. It's clear that Ms. Fortier is disconnected from the reality of workers in this country. We call on the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau to get involved, to get involved so that we can come to a contract that will end the biggest strike in Canada's history because we need to continue to provide services to the people. The Prime Minister has two choices. He can either come to the table to reach a reasonable agreement with fair wages that follow the cost of living, or the Prime Minister can turn his back on the workers of this country.